Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. Today we are going to discuss about why Tejas MK2 will be important for India. So let's discuss. With the Indian Air Force's MCA program getting serially delayed and recast more than once, there was a feeling in various quarters that the Tejas MK2 design should perhaps evolve further than what was initially envisaged to provide an indigenous option for the Indian Air Force's requirements. Thus, the F and the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, sat down to redefine the Tejas MK2 with more elaborate modifications, such that it could function as a medium-weight fighter for ground attack roles while continuing to be nimble in the air-to-air -air role. In fact, the version of the Tejas MK2 currently envisaged has been rebadged as the medium-weight fighter roar and is being designed as a replacement for the Mirage 2000 with a view to surpassing its capabilities in almost every respect Tejas MK2 also known as medium-weight fighter looks very much similar to Tejas MK1. However the main difference is a prolonged fuselage. The overall length of Tejas MK2 is 14.7 meter from increased from 13.2 meter in Tejas MK1. While studying the aerodynamics and its constraints in Tejas MK1, it was observed that it was unable to comply to area ruling because of short length. So it was decided to take care of this concern of Tejas MK1 by increasing the length. Other aerodynamic issues such as elevating canopy, redesigning pylon, putting short-range missile on wingtip etc. is freezed in MK2 design. All this will reduce aerodynamic drag and will improve transonic acceleration by a very good margin. Mark II MWF will continue to have the legacy LCA Tejas MK1 and MK1A design elements which will be powered by single F414 engines 6 engine supplied by General Electric which has already started to arrive in India from 2017 onwards. MWF will exceed the performance of upgraded Mirage 2000, when inducted into Air Force but actually will replace MiG-29 first. MWF will also be replacing Jaguar fighter bomber, which are due to be retired from service from 2034 onwards. The canard is close coupled, meaning it is located just above and forward of the wing. A close coupled has many positive aerodynamic effects like, number 1. It increases wing lift. For delta wing design aircraft, like Tejas, close coupled canard benefits even more increases lift both in low speed flight and high, transonic, speed flight. Number 2. It creates better aerodynamic stability of wing vortices. Number 3. It reduces wing loading. Number 4. It gives an extra control surfaces for pitch and roll control, and on the ground, as air brakes. Number 4. It reduces takeoff distance. Number 5. A good area ruling that includes the canard helps to reduce various aerodynamic drag, hence enhancing its performance. Number 6. Compensation for shift of CG with respect to CL. About shell. At least four RCS reduction measures will be incorporated in the airframe design so that semi-stealth can be achieved with help from the use of fully internal electronic warfare system to diffuse radar frequency, RF, and infrared, ear, threats while on the mission. MWF will also get a stealth coating paint, which has been developed specifically for the AMC program but only at certain sections to manage absorption of all radar frequencies. Critical RCS reduction measures in the airframe will be, number 1. Wing and canard edge alignment to reduce drag and also reduce friction heat and improve RF deflection, number 2. Air intake stucks will have twisted design so that engine blades can be carefully hidden inside the intake duct. Number 3. Radar absorbent materials on the critical sections of the fuselage will be used. Number 4. Sharp edges at front fuselage will also help reduce radar cross-section. MWF fighter jet program will be replacing entire Mirage 2000. MiG-29 and Jaguar fighter fleet from Indian Air Force inventory of nearly 200 jets. 
After building a huge inventory of heavy category fighter like Su-30 MKI and developing lightweight Tejas MK-1, entire focus of India is now centered on acquiring medium weight fighter, like Rafale or other Mka. Tejas MK-2 is a surprising sweet option, which has emerged for Indian Air Force. So you can understand why Tejas MK-2 is very important for India. Thanks for watching. See you in the episode.